Field here on the campus of Liberal High School. I'm Monty White. Alongside me is Kirk Hutchinson. We're right in the middle of the national anthem here at, at uh, tonight's game. Well, Kirk, we're ready for football. Kirk, uh, what a beauty we've got tonight. We've got two teams with six compete for the top spot in the WAC this year. Uh, and it's the classic matchup of speed versus power. You've got the speed for Liberal, the power for Dodge City. Well, power is right for Dodge City, and it starts with Brian Goolsby, 6'2", 235-pound senior fullback and linebacker. He's just looking for somebody to knock down, and he does that. Quite often during yeah. the game, you'll hear us calling the name Brian Goolsby quite a bit tonight. Another, another name you're going to hear a lot of on the Liberal side, Lamar Chapman. It all starts with the quarterback, and Chapman is one of the best in the state. Chapman can run, he can throw, he can do it all. And he's also got a tailback by the name of Montoya also, who has been a pleasant su surprise for Coach Gary Cornell from coming into this season, taking over for Jason Dunlap and Andy Hall of a year ago. And Kirk, last year we had a beauty over in Dodge City. Cool night, just like last year. Yeah, and last year it rained in the second half, turning it into a mud bowl, and that gave Dodge City some chance to come back in that game because they're a straight-ahead power team, and they were able to take advantage of the mud where Liberal wasn't able to use their speed last year. Doesn't look like we're going to get the rain tonight. It rained earlier in Liberal today, but the skies are clear right now. We've got a beautiful night for football. The teams are starting to take the field, and this crowd is just about the capacity here at Redskin Field. When we came in uh, well, well before 7 o'clock even, there were already people lining up in the stands. This is just a great rivalry and has been throughout the years. And I followed a number of Dodge City folks into town as I came in this evening, as they're packing in as well. Looking forward to a great game tonight. Two of the best teams in the state, and we've got them right here. Dodge leads the all-time series, although over the past uh, three or four years, Liberal has really got their measure of revenge right there. One of the great venues in the state for high school football. It's Redskin Field, and uh, it, it's quite a show before the game. Well, and it's quite a game. We're looking forward tonight with these two teams going at it, so I'm ready for football. All right, I'm ready for football as well. We'll come back and talk to the head coaches right after this. You're watching High School Football on KUPK Channel 13. I will promise you this, that if you buy a car from us, that we will take care of you. Besides the quality of Buick and GMC trucks, why choose Groups? Vernon and the crew have done the top of the line. McGee Roofing uses only the very best, highest quality roofing materials, and they've got it in stock. Give McGee Roofing a call now. We're here tonight with Coach Masters and Coach uh, Coaches Masters and Coach Cornelson of the Dodge City Red Demons and the Little Redskins. And uh, Coach Masters, you've had a great year so far. We've seen a, a powerful offense and a strong defense. Uh, what are your expectations for tonight's game? Well, we hope that we're up for this ball game tonight. Uh, this is probably the first quick offense and defensive team that we've played this year. The Wichita teams that we've played are uh, big in size and slow at foot, so uh, it's just about the opposite tonight. So I know they've got a fine ball club, and, and uh, I just hope we can stay with them. Are your kids all healthy? Uh, we're in good shape right now. Uh, we've had a few bunged up bruises, you know, but uh, most of the kids can play with them. Good. Coach, we really appreciate you being here tonight. But hold with us just a minute. I want to talk to Coach Cornelson. Coach, uh, you haven't had the Wichita schools, but uh, you've had a great, strong defense and a real strong offense tonight. What are your expectations? We played pretty well the first three weeks. Uh, we're kind of young on our offensive front and defensive front, but they're getting better. I'm sure we'll have a great test tonight from Dodge City, who has, looks to have some good linemen, some good skill position players also. How about your health and your kids? Are everybody in good shape? We lost the tackle a couple weeks ago, but other than that, we're ready to go. Well, I know you coaches have a great record and a great rivalry, and, and here in southwest Kansas, we have, we think, the best football in the state, and uh, we look forward for a great game from both teams. We've got a great night of weather. We're going to have a great crowd, and let's hope we can have a great ball game. Thanks a lot. KAG Construction's Ready Mix Division now has plants in Dodge City, Sublette, Liberal, and Guymon, Oklahoma, offering the latest in concrete production and reliability. JAG can also bring the plant to you with its new Fastway portable operation. The Ready Mix is on your job site, leaving you in total control. From customized paving to large concrete construction, JAG is equipped for any Ready Mix project. JAG Construction Company in Liberal, Dodge City, Sublette, and Guymon, Oklahoma. 
the caring place. It's the place you're looking for when it comes to the health of your family. At Southwest Medical Center, they care about you as a person, as a neighbor, and as a patient. It's been their philosophy for 28 years. There are countless ways for physicians, nurses, and staff can serve you and your family. So when you're making a decision about health care, remember the caring place. Southwest Medical Center in Liberal. And welcome back to Redskins Field, site of tonight's WAC, ti or WAC Conference <laughs> matchup. I shouldn't say title matchup, although a lot Not of yet. people feel that's what this game is. You've got the Dodge City Red Demons, one of the top teams in Class 6A, coming in to play the Liberal Redskins, one of the top teams in Class 5A. And, Kurt, uh, so much has been said about this game. Uh, I don't know what we can add to, add to the hype of it, but let's, I hope the game turns out to be uh, what it's been billed as. Well, I do, too. It'll be interesting to see how these two teams do. This will be the first time either of these teams has faced an opponent with a winning record. Yeah, as, as a matter of fact, coming into this game, the two teams have played a combined six teams. Those teams were uh, combined two and 16 on the season. So they haven't faced that stiff a competition yet. Well, they're going to get tested tonight, and it looks as though Liberal will be kicking the ball to Dodge City to start this ball game, and we're just about underway. And as I said during the opening, it looks like it's close to a capacity crowd, and uh, I think we just about reached it. You can look across on the far side, and there aren't a whole lot of empty seats out there. Philip Aguilar will do the kicking for the Liberal Redskins, and he is a good one. A lot of kickers come out, and uh, they are just kickers. This guy is a weapon. Aguilar kicks it, and we're underway. The ball goes into the end zone. It was mishandled right off the bat for Dodge City. But Chet Schmidt, uh, no harm, no foul right there as Dodge City will start with the ball at their own 20-yard line. Be interesting to see what the Red Demons do on offense coming out. Of course, we talked about Brian Goolsby in the pregame, but they've got other weapons as well. Ronnie Priest, a lot of speed, had a 70-yard touchdown run called back against Emporia a week ago so he can get outside. Ty Cahoon can run as well, so let's see what they do. Ty Cahoon leads the troop up to the line of scrimmage. Junior quarterback taking over after Josh Solomon graduated last year. Brian Goolsby, the setback. Goolsby just off last tackle, and that's what you'll see a lot of tonight from Dodge City as Goolsby pounds his way out across the 25-yard line. And it looked like Jared Kinzinger among the players getting in there to stop Goolsby that time, but that's just what we expected Dodge City to do, to come out and start running the football straight up the middle, take advantage of that size and that power. A good six yards, maybe seven, on the first play from scrimmage for the Dodge City Red Demons, Brian Goolsby averaging over seven yards a carry on the season. Goolsby once again off right tackle. He's going to be up close to the 30-yard line before being brought down by Robbie Lanning. Robbie Lanning, one of the people in there to hit him, as well as some other people on that defensive line. You've got Matt Steen, who's a 5'11", 195-pound junior, and Steve Calhoun, 5'10", 175-pound junior, anchoring the middle of that defensive line for the Liberal Redskins, as well as Bobby Wilson on the left end out there for Liberal. And there you see Chad Adams, we didn't mention, also on the defensive line. Dodge City has it third and one. Ty Cahoon, a quarterback. He'll get the Goolsby up the middle. That's a first down as he pounds his way out to the 33-yard line. All we've seen so far, Brian Goolsby, and you can probably bet that that's what we're going to see a lot of tonight. Roger Hoffman on the stop that time for the Redskins. He's a 5'9", 170-pound senior. There's a nice hole. Hoffman pops off his block to stop Goolsby, but not until Goolsby managed to pick up several yards and the first down. Once again, Dodge City ball. Just over a minute gone in this first quarter. There goes Goolsby up the middle. He's broken into the secondary. Chapman's trying to get him. He corrals him at about the 35-yard line, but the first big play of the night goes to the Dodge City Red Demons. And Chapman's speed is the only thing that kept that from being a touchdown. He just outran Goolsby on what looks like about a 25, 26-yard gain. They were starting at their own 35-yard line. There you see the replay. Goolsby just blows up the middle and blows right by the secondary until Chapman manages to run him down and from behind. That's going to be closer to a 35-yard gain, I believe. 32 yards, let's call it, on the run for Goolsby. And Dodge City now threatening in liberal territory. Goolsby off left tackle. Once again, he'll pound it down to about the 31. And this was the question coming in. Liberal has all that speed, but did they have anybody that was big enough to match up with the running strength of Brian Goolsby? 
And so far, the Red Demons have done what they wanted to up front. They've been able to open up the holes for Goolsby. We'll have to see how long it takes Liberal to tighten that up and how soon we'll see the Red Demons start to go outside, try to take advantage of Andy Smith and Ronnie Freed. Goolsby lined up right behind Cahoon. Here comes the pitch to Smith. They try to go outside, and there you see the liberal speed. That's how you counter power. You come back with speed, and Liberal's got a ton of it. Hoffman was there first, coming in from his linebacker position, just shooting through the deep, the offensive line and uh, getting in there to nail Smith first and then slow him down. Here comes Hoffman shooting right through the line. He slows Smith down, and he just falls forward. Uh, Chapman making sure he doesn't get back up. Third and nine, Dodge City in a passing situation, but they don't like to put the ball up. Just three of 11 on the year is Ty Cahoon. He's had one picked off. There's the pitch play to Goolsby. He'll go off left tackle. Now he's going to try to bounce outside. Pursuit of Liberal catches up to him at about the 25, maybe to the 24. He needed to get inside the 24 for the first down. Well, Aguilar hit him first, but Goolsby outweighs Aguilar by a little bit. Aguilar's 5'10", 165-pound senior. Here you'll see him coming up to make the hit, and Goolsby just moves him. Hoffman coming over to help finish him off. Well, they're going to take a measurement right here to see if Dodge City has the first down. They're going to be well short, well, about a foot and a half short. They haven't stopped Brian Goolsby yet. You can imagine Dick Masters is going to hand no, the ball to his no. big fullback. Might as well keep going right here because they've uh, been able to run the ball. And Goolsby up the middle is the obvious play. We'll see what Dodge City actually decides to do. Uh, we mentioned Smith. Uh, he's had one carry. Couldn't get outside. Ronnie Freese and Ty Cahoon can run as well. We haven't seen him carry the ball yet. It's about three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Big play already as Dodge City has the ball inside the Liberal 25. Full house backfield. Goolsby up the middle. That's a first down easy. And right now, Dodge City's getting the yards when they want and where they want. Well, they're running behind that big offensive line, which features 5'11", 200-pound senior Jeremy Dirk, 6'2", 210-pound senior Brady Pollington. There you see the surge forward, and Goolsby able to follow the line through. Tony Esparza, 5'10", 195-pound senior. Uh, they've got some size on that offensive line. Also, Shane Webb, a 6'5", 220-pound senior, and Bruce Redenbaugh, 270-pound junior. First and 10 from about the 21-yard line of the Liberal Redskins. Goolsby up the middle. No, it's, it's Cahoon on the keeper, and I believe the ball was stolen. Robbie Lanning came out of the pile. They will give it to the Liberal Redskins. Boy, big play here early in the first half as Ty Cahoon was headed up the middle, and Robbie Lanning just reached in and pulled it away. Well, that was a crucial play for the Redskins to slow him down. Here you see the gift to Goolsby, and then Ty Cahoon keeping it. And all of a sudden, the ball is gone. <laughs> he just pulled it right away from him. Had it in the bread basket, and he yanked it away. Well, that was what the Redskins needed because they weren't slowing down Dodge City any. The turnover gives them a chance to go on offense. Liberal will start at their own 19. And Lamar Chapman will fake the handoff. He's going to roll out. This is where Chapman's dangerous. He overthrows Jared Kinzinger. A good pursuit by Dodge City. I don't know if there was a missed block on the Liberal offensive line, but they had two guys in the face of quarterback Lamar Chapman. Annie Smith, one of the guys who got back there in a hurry, he's got a little bit of speed of his own. Chapman was uh, running for his life almost there at the end of the play. You see Chapman, Kinzinger, also in the backfield. You've also got Love as one of the receivers out there, and Ontiveros, also a receiver for the Liberal Redskins. Or that, sorry, <laughs> wrong team. Liberal trying to run the option, and Lamar Chapman is stacked up just across the 20-yard line at the 22. In the backfield with Chapman tonight, you'll see Jared Kinzinger at fullback. Montoya also has the tailback, and Eric Love, number 45, on the way. Here's a look at the Liberal offensive line for you there on your screen. And they run behind center Robbie Lanning, 5'11", 185-pound junior. Third and long now for the Redskins. They'll give it up the middle. There's also a shoestring tackle by Wes Ontiveros. Or else Montoya also had all kinds of running room in the secondary. It'll be fourth down for the Liberal Redskins. And that saved the first down that time. Has also had some running room. Just reached out and slapped at him. Here you see him coming through the line. And Ontiveros just reaches out and slaps at him. And also goes tumbling to the turn. Liberal looks as if they're going to punt it away. Philip Aguilar to do the duties here. Aguilar has a good leg, 38.5 average on the season. Ken Schmidt, one of the deep backs for Dodge City. There's the 
snap, and there's the boot. It's a high spiral, beautiful kick. And it will come down out of bounds, or it stays inbounds. Schmidt picks it up and runs it out. I don't know if I don't know if uh, Dick Masters is real happy about it. Chet Smith taking a hold of that one. Somebody needs to tell Chet that that's a, that's a punt, not a kickoff. You don't have to grab it. You can let it be down. And it would have been. But they've got great field position. Let's see what Dodge City can do. The last drive stopped by a turnover. They were moving the football very well after starting from their 20, driving all the way to the liberal 20 before the turnover. And we'll see what they can do now. And we've got a timeout on the field. We'll take a break as well with 6.43 to play here in the first quarter. Dodge City and Liberal are tied at zero. You're watching high school football on KUPK. We're right back after this. Surprising opportunities await you in Liberal. Lots of retail shopping, tourism, and recreation. Visit the Mid-America Air Museum, Dorothy's House, or the Coronado Museum. Whatever you do in Liberal, you'll find warm, friendly people to welcome you back each and every time. Stop by and thank these liberal merchants who helped to make this live telecast possible. A&A Construction, Cypress Glass, Best Well Service Incorporated, and Paul's Paint and Body Shop. If you've had severe pain in your abdomen with bloating or nausea, you might have gallstones. Until recently, gallbladder surgery required a long hospital stay and weeks of recovery. Today, with laparoscopic surgery, most people go home the next morning and recover in less than a week. If you're putting off treatment for these symptoms, contact the Dodge City Medical Center. You could be just days away from a healthier way of life. The Dodge City Medical Center, where concern for your care comes first. And welcome back to Redskin Field. Dodge City taking their first, second possession here of the first quarter. They hand off right away to Chet Smith. He breaks into the secondary. Check it. That is Andy Smith down to the liberal 40, and that is the second big play of the game we've seen by the Dodge City Red Demon. Well, that's just to show us they've got another weapon slot. Sides Brian Goolsby. The first drive was pretty much all Goolsby except for a couple of carries, and this time they go to Andy Smith, who's got a little speed, and they are opening big holes for him up front. There he goes. Andy Smith with 145 yards rushing on the season, averaging over seven yards a carry. Most of this Dodge City team can run like that. And you mentioned the seven yards a carry. Most of this Dodge City team is averaging over seven yards. Here's Goolsby outside, shreds one tackler, bounces off another one. He's still going, finally knocked out of bounds by Philip Aguilar. But, man, what a display of hard running by Brian Goolsby. Well, we said Goolsby was coming into this game just looking for somebody to knock down because that's the way he plays football. And he did it that time, breaking through a couple of tackles, and in fact, more players than that, because there were a couple of times he was double teamed. There's the first hit. Gets by that one. There's the second hit. Gets by that one. Comes out of the pile, dragging one player, and finally, Philip Aguilar able to push him out of bounds with momentum. But it's another Dodge City first down. Brian Goolsby now with 11 rushes for 69 yards already in this contest. There's the fake handoff, Ty Cahoon on the bootleg. He's got one man to beat, fakes out Aguilar, now a race to the end zone. Lamar Chapman corrals him, takes him out at the nine, but what a move by Ty Cahoon as he left Philip Aguilar just standing there looking for his lingerie. And Chapman couldn't get to him as quickly as he could because Jason Brandenburg was putting quite a block on him down there. Chapman couldn't fight his way around it. Here we go, here's Cahoon, the fake to Smith. Now he's just gonna roll to his right, a uh, straight run all the way. They run a lot more than they pass. There's one. He goes right by Aguilar there. And now Chapman's fighting off a block, finally able to corral him down there. Good downfield blocking by the Red Demons as well. Now inside the 10, first and goal for the Red Demons. Someone might have jumped. Looks like they got back. Goolsby pounds it down inside the 5 to about the 4-yard line. It'll be second down for the Red Demons. Well, so far, the big plays on this drive have been the big run from Schmidt, about a 20-yard run, and that about a 19- or 20-yard run that time from Cahoon to get him down inside the 10-yard line. And they're looking at second and, and goal right now, so Dodge City about ready to pound one in. They haven't stopped Brian Goolsby yet, you would think. Dick Masters would be satisfied with just pounding it in here. There is Goolsby up the middle, off right tackle. He spins his way into the end zone. Dodge City draws first blood. And tremendous running that time by Goolsby. He was hit by two men. One of them, Matt Hensley, early on, just carried him right into the end zone with him. That's what we said Brian Goolsby does. He plays power football, and he powered it in right there for the first touchdown of the game. And already it's different from last year's game. 
There's the replay. You see Goolsby. He's hit right there by Hensley, and Aguilar tries to get in there as well. Goolsby just goes right into the end zone. Brian Goolsby is a fantasy football owner's dream. He scores touchdowns and kicks extra points. There's the boot. It's on the way, and it is good. So our score with 4.41 to go here in the first quarter, Dodge City 7, Liberal nothing. You're watching WAC Conference football right here on KUPK. We'll be right back after this. Pride in the community shows in your work, your play, and your education. Doctors Knudsen and Patron take great pride in all the kids of Southwest Kansas, and particularly Liberal's educational system. Kids are our future. Give them the opportunity to enjoy the fullest of lives. Support their education, athletic, and academics. Go, kids. Be the best that you can be. This message brought to you by the OBGYN Associates of Southwest Kansas, Dr. Dennis Knudsen and Dr. Ricardo Patron. For the best values this fall, who do you turn to? For fashions, for home electronics, for fabrics, for computers, for sporting goods, for women's fashions, for all your automotive needs. Layaway with no service charges. Your favorite Pepsi products at the best price in town. Real value conscious buyers know that the right turn is to Walmart, and they simply won't be undersold. And we guarantee it. Garden City Dodge City Liberal in Diamond, Oklahoma. And welcome back to Redskin Field, where the Dodge City Red Demons have drawn first blood. They lead 7 to nothing with 4.41 to go here in the first. Still a lot of football to be played, Kirk. And we'll see what the Liberal Redskins can do on their second possession of the first quarter. Well, they need to get something going. That was a quick 60-yard, five-play drive by the Red Demons to get on the board first here in the first quarter. Wes Ontiveros will kick it off for the Demons, and he booms one back. Montoya also waiting for the ball. Instead... It is Kevin Hammond who will take it off the right side. He brings it up across the 30 to the 33-yard line, and that's where the Liberal Redskins will set up shop for their second drive of the night. And Liberal finally gets to start with some good field position. The first time they got the ball, it was on a turnover at their own 19. Couldn't do anything with it at that point. Now we'll see what they can do starting from their own 33, and it's time for them to bring their speed into play here in this ball game. That's scoring drive for Dodge City. Five plays, two minutes and two seconds. All of it on the ground as their whole offense has been tonight. Brian Goolsby doing a bulk of the damage, but a couple big runs during that by Andy Smith and also Ty Cahoon. And there you see it, five plays, 60-yard drive, capped by Brian Goolsby's five-yard touchdown run. Took him two minutes. Very efficient. Very efficient. Now we'll see what Liberal does. They will run the toss sweep to Alsup, and he squirms his way through a couple tackles, still on his feet. Gets out across uh, to about the 38-yard line. Thought we might see a face mask there, but no flag. Terrific running by Alsop. He kept breaking one tackle after another. Brady Pollington finally getting in there to shut him down. Look at this terrific run. One guy slides by him. Another guy. Good blocking in there as well. Slides by a couple of guys. Breaking another tackle. Hit there. Won't go down. And finally, Ronnie Priest couldn't bring him down, but Brady Pollington finally did. Second and about five for the Redskins. They seem love in motion. Chapman wants to throw. He looks deep across the middle. And right there, Bobby Wilson is thrilled as Chapman missed high and Ronnie Freese made Bobby Wilson pay the price. He sure did. He came right in and hit him, hit him hard. This is one thing that's different about the Redskins from the Red Demons. Liberal will put the ball in the air. The pass is a good part of their offense as opposed to what you see with the Dodge City Red Demons. Chapman rolling out, trying to get some time to throw, and just overthrows his receiver. And uh, as you say, Wilson paid the price. Chapman may be a little tense here in the early going. This is such a big rivalry. And he missed high on that one. Now they'll send Alsop a motion. Kinzinger, the lone setback. Chapman on the rollout. Quick hitter to Bobby Wilson. He comes right back to him. Wilson still on his feet. Out to the 50, across the 50, down to about the 48. Nice throw that time by Lamar Chapman. And they, as we said, they will go to the pass. It is a major part of their offense, much more so than with the Dodge City Red Demons. There he is, Wilson over the middle, and the secondary kind of spread out a little bit there. Took him a minute to recover. Ronnie Freese uh, finally drags him down with a little help from Brian Goolsby at the end. First and 10 liberal. They'll hand it off up the middle, and drilled in the backfield will be Montoya also. Troy Thomas, one of the anchors of the Dodge City line, shoots through. And gets his 13th tackle of the season. 
Well, it's a veteran Dodge City line. Troy Thomas is a senior. Bruce Redenbaugh is a junior. There's the replay. Thomas is right there waiting for him. And you've got Brady Pollington, who's a senior. Also, Shane Webb, who's a senior. So it's a veteran line, and they're ready to play some football. Loss of about one on the play. Chapman now may go to the air once again. He drops straight back. He's looking deep. He's got two men down there. Nice defensive play by Dodge City as it was intended for, it looked like Bobby Wilson, maybe Kevin Hammond, I believe, is the other guy out there. Well, he had two receivers down there, but Dodge City had three defensive backs back there as well. Let's see the throw now. He's going deep, but as you see, there's a lot of coverage down there, and it looks like it was uh, Chet Schmidt who got his hand up on the football that time to knock it away. Good coverage from the Red Demon. Third and long once again. Hensley will come to the near side as Chapman lines him up in the offset eye. Chapman straight drop back once again. He's got time. Now he's flushed out of the pocket. We'll come to the near side, and he is sacked in the backfield. Once again, it was Troy Thomas, and Troy Thomas has come up big for the second time on this drive. Well, Chapman had good protection for a couple of seconds back there, but then he had to roll to his left. Here you see he's got a little bit of time. Now he realizes there's pressure coming from his right. He'll roll left, and Troy Thomas breaks off his block and just comes over waiting for him. Chapman had nowhere to go that time. Big play for the Red Demon. And once again, the Liberal Redskins will have to punt the ball away. Two possessions, two kicks. With 2.08 to play, Dodge City will take a timeout. Timeout we're, what? We're going to keep it here. And Kirk, so far, Dodge City has been pretty impressive here in the early going. On the offensive side, it doesn't seem like anybody can stop Brian Goolsby. And on the defensive side, Troy Thomas looks like he's really come to play tonight. Well, he has. And in a lot of ways, this is a reverse of last year's game. You know, Liberals started quick last year, and their defense and special teams put Dodge City in the hole very, very early. Tonight, Dodge City's offense and their defense are putting the pressure on the Liberal Redskins, and Liberals not been able to take advantage of their speed. Chapman hasn't been able to break loose any big runs, and he had that one good pass to Bobby Wilson, but other than that, the passing game hasn't been effective for them either. The Liberals credit, one name we haven't called on defense tonight is Brian Goolsby. Maybe they're concentrating quite a bit on him, and uh, Troy Thomas is really the one they're going to have to worry about here for a while. Philip Aguilar will do the kicking duties. Good snap. Nice high kick down to about the 30-yard line. It bounces inside the 30, takes a liberal bounce, goes down to about the 22-yard line. And you're watching football on KUPK-TV, Garden City, Channel 13. Thanks for joining us for this big game between the Dodge City Red Demons and the Liberal Redskins here tonight. Dodge City starts their third drive of the evening with 1.59 here to go in the first quarter. And it's been uh, very successful so far on offense for Dodge City. About a 60-yard uh, drive stopped by a turnover in the first quarter, then a 60-yard drive that ended in a touchdown. Let's see what the Red Demons do now. They'll set up shop at the 22-yard line with Smith and Goolsby in the backfield. The handoff this time straight ahead to Goolsby, and he is still bouncing off of people and fights his way up to about the 27, 28-yard line. Brian Goolsby looked like he was stacked up at the line, then all of a sudden you see this big mass of humanity come out of there, and it is number 30. Look Tremendous power that time. He stopped right there, breaks off. Philip Aguilar tries to slow him down. He bounces off of him and pushes up, and it looked like might have been Kevin Hammond finally got a stop on him that time. Boy, that's got to be a nightmare for somebody wearing one of those low numbers like number one to have to take on Brian Goolsby. And Dodge City jumps right there. This has been one of the things that has plagued Dodge City this season is penalties. And Dodge City penalized for well over 100 yards uh, Illegal procedure last week. On the white team. Illegal procedure of the call. Last week against Emporia, as I mentioned, they had a touchdown called back because of a penalty. Over 100 yards in penalties. And, in fact, I think they're averaging about 100 yards in penalties through the first three games. That's one negative for this Dodge City team. That they are. If I'm not mistaken, a week ago they had either 145 or 154. 154 are we here. Here's a run up the middle by Smith. Off tackle. Aguilar, the, the last line of defense. And he rides him out of bounds. But... Everything is going Dodge City's way. And Aguilar's speed made the difference that time because Smith had some open field to run through. Aguilar playing uh, center field just managed to drag him down. 
Aguilar just chases him down that time. And that run up around uh, 20 or 21 yards that time for Andy Smith. Dodge City's getting the holes up front. And the guys with the speed like Andy Smith and the power like Brian Goolsby are taking advantage of it. 35 seconds and counting here in the first quarter. Dodge City leads it 7 to nothing. There's the handoff up the middle. Once again, it's Smith. He pounds his way out to about the 47-yard line on what looks like it might be. Well, they may get one more off in this quarter. And Robbie Lanning in there on the stop for the Liberal Redskins. And this is a veteran Liberal defense as well. We mentioned the veteran people on the offensive line for, and defensive line for Dodge City. Robbie Lanning's a junior, saw a lot of action last year on the state final team. Jared Kinzinger is a senior in the linebacker position. Roger Hoffman also a senior linebacker. So they got some veterans too. And that brings us to the end of the first quarter as time runs out here at Redskins Field. Our score at the end. Of the first quarter, the Dodge City Red Demon 7, the Liberal Redskins nothing. We'll be back with more football on KUPK right after this. The first priority for expect. Play. Southwest, the only bank you'll ever need. And it's Dodge City's ball as we get ready to go here in the second quarter. Ty Cahoon at quarterback. They have it at their own 47. Here comes Goolsby on the left side. And once again, he pounds it out for seven yards. Is there any way to stop this guy? I'm not sure. It may take four or five guys to do it. That time, Roger Hoffman and Philip Aguilar getting in there to finish him off after Goolsby had to kind of dive his way over the stack. This time, he goes outside. He's just going straight up the middle, and then he just kind of works his way over the pile, kind of tripped over his own guy, and then finished off that time by Roger Hoffman. Just underway here in the second quarter. Dodge City leads 7 and nothing. Thank you for joining us this evening. And here's the trap play to Ronnie Freese. First time they've called his number tonight. He goes for about five yards. Good surge up the middle that time. Troy Thomas, though, for the... Uh, or rather, Robbie Lanning for the uh, Redskins getting in there to help make the stop. And Dodge City showing a lot of power on that offensive line. They're really opening up some holes for the running backs. This game a big test for both squads as neither one of them has been tested yet this season. Second down and a little more than five. And now it's going to be back to about second and 11 as Chet Schmidt took off a little early. Well, and it didn't look like uh, illegal motion on the white. Didn't look like Jeremy Dirks and Ty Cahoon were on the same sheet of music either. Yeah. <laughs> Ty took a step back, and Jeremy's holding the football going, what do you want? <laughs> I got the ball. 11.05 <laughs> to go and counting here in the first. Dodge City drove the length of the field on their first one before fumbling it away at the liberal 20. Here's Goolsby, and he has stopped for... Maybe a gain of one. That's the first time they've really been able to corral him thus far this evening. That time they were ready for Brian Goolsby. They got in there and hit him hard. Steve Calhoun in there on the bottom of that pile. Uh, also saw Robbie Lanning getting in there as well. So good defense that time by the Liberal Redskins. They were able to shut him down. Chad Adams also in there on the stop for the Redskins. So that time they held on the line. Third down and long, as we told you before, Dodge City really doesn't care to throw the ball that much. But it's a passing situation here, and here goes Smith in motion, and he cut up field too early, and that's going to be motion. Yeah. Yeah, he angled a little too quick. He was trying to get out to his spot and be ready to go, and he over-anticipated when the snap was going to come. It's all those ESPN broadcasts of the CFL. <laughs> Had him moving towards the line of scrimmage too soon. So once again, penalties might be a factor for the Dodge City Red Demons. They've had two on this drive now. Actually, uh, three, two right here in this series that have backed them up around the midfield marker. So we'll see what the Red Demons do here. Now it's third and long. Let's see if they try to pull out the pass. You mentioned they haven't passed too much. Uh, last week against Emporia, they threw uh, uh, three or four passes, had one of them intercepted. Tycoon only had, a, had one completion last week. So it, passing is not in their nature. And now we've got a timeout by the Dodge City Red Demons. We'll take a timeout as well with 9.50 to go here. In the second quarter, our score is Dodge City 7, Liberal nothing. We'll be right back on KUBK after this.
And welcome back. It's third and long for the Dodge City Red Team. It's Ty Cahoon on a straight drop back. This has screen written all over it. Now Cahoon has to scramble. He's doing well to get back the line of scrimmage, and he doesn't. Jared Kinzinger nails him for about a two-yard loss. They wanted to set up the middle screen, and that play never had a chance. Well, it never had a chance because there was just too much pressure on Ty Cahoon from the beginning. He couldn't find anybody to unload the ball to. Steve Calhoun was the first one back there. He comes sliding right through. They let him through, but Steve can run, and so he chases him down. He's got to make a decision right now, so he decides to run. Nothing doing there. Bobby Wilson's right there waiting for him. So he comes up, slides by a couple of guys, and Jarrett Kinzinger will finish him off. That time, great pursuit by the Redskin defense. And Dodge City in their first punting situation of the evening as it's fourth and long. Kevin Gwaltney will do the honors. There's the punt, and... Little bump of the kicker, but no dice. And Philip Aguilar will have the return. He runs to his left. We've got a flag down. That's going to be a clip on the return. And then Aguilar was gang tackled there by half the Dodge City team. But right there on the punt, we saw what Liberal does very, very well and did so devastatingly against Dodge City last year, rushing the punter. They got a lot of pressure back there. You may see him get a block here before this game is over with. Twice last year in this game. The Liberal Redskins broke through for a block of a punt. One ending. Okay, we got a look at the clip coming up here, and you'll see Zarek Freeman come in at the end of this, and right there, you see he's got the head behind, and that's where the clip comes from. Now they'll march it off from the 16-yard line, half the distance, would take it back to the eight. Terrific coverage that time by the Red Demons. They had a bunch of guys down there on defense to snuff that one out. They'll move it back to about the seven-yard line. 8.51 to play here in the first half. Liberal starting for the second time from inside their own 20. Lamar Chapman fakes the handoff. He'll go around the left side. Now Chapman breaks free. Chapman is knocked out of bounds by Ronnie Priest, and if not, he was off to the races. Boy, that changes things in a hurry. Well, we finally get to see Chapman's speed there. I mentioned we hadn't seen him uh, unload a big run. Here he fakes the also up the middle. Dodge City's there to stop that play, but that's not the play they need. And he, Chapman, blows by two guys right there. Goolsby's one of them. Ronnie Freeze finally manages to shove him out of bounds, and that gain of about 19 yards that time for Chapman. Lamar Chapman, one of the better athletes in our area, and he showed it on that run. There's a handoff up the middle now. It was a fake, and here comes Chapman as he follows the man into the hole. He goes across the 40 to about the 43-yard line. Lamar Chapman lighting a fire under this liberal Redskin team. And that's what the Redskins needed to do. They needed to take advantage of Chapman's speed. He's such a major part of their offense, not just as the quarterback, but also as a running back when he's carrying the ball. And two straight times they've taken advantage of it, that time for about another 17 yards. First and 10 once again for the liberal Redskins. Three men in the backfield. Chapman under center. This time he fakes a handoff to Alsup once again. And he tries the exact same play to the opposite side. Little different result this time as he gets about two yards. Well, if it's working, you might as well stick with it. That time they did. This time Dodge City able to snuff it out at the line. But finally some life in this Redskin offense and uh, some life back in the crowd now. They're seeing their team move the ball down the field. Second and about seven for the Liberal Redskins. Here's the toss sweep to Alsop. Alsop across the 50. Down into Dodge City territory at about the 47, 48-yard line. This is going to be close to another Redskin first down. And that's the way you do it when you're the Redskins. you got that kind of speed and talent in the backfield. You get them thinking about Chapman and then beat them a little. Montoya Alsop getting outside. Good blocking up front for him. Slides by Ronnie Freese. Finally gets hammered there by Wes Ontiveros and finally goes down. Here you see the blocking for him as he gets nice. outside. Good nice blocking by block. the Redskins. Nice trap block. And even at the end of that play, he had a lot of red jerseys in front of him to lead the way. Roger Hoffman came from his uh, guard position here on the near side, went all the way across and picked off Shane Webb, allowed also to get a few more yards. And they do get the first down on the measurement, so the Redskins starting to march the ball. Two big runs from Chapman and a big one from Alsop right there. And they're looking at a first down inside Dodge City territory. 
Inside seven and a half to play here in the second quarter. Yeah, somebody, now, somebody lost an ear pad. Officials timeout for the equipment problem. Looks like Ronnie Priest. He's got it back his, on. He'll get his hat back on and we'll get back underway here. Liberal has been fairly quiet until this drive. Chapman has him in the eye. There's the handoff right up the middle to Kinsinger. Kinsinger pulling his way across the 40, down to the 35 to the 32. Jared Kinsinger with a big run. And there's some power football from the Redskins. Tremendous power. We talked about Brian Goolsby. Jared Kinsinger showing he can run hard, too. He's slowed down early. He runs into a big stack at the line, keeps fighting for a hole, keeps looking for something, pushing his blockers forward, and then just drives right through. Chet Schmidt got a hold of him, and the two danced for about seven or eight yards before Kinzinger finally got dragged to the ground. And we've got a timeout on the field once again as the coaches will come out and talk to their respective troops. We'll take a timeout as well. 7-12 to go here in the first quarter. Our score, Dodge City 7, Liberal nothing. We'll be back on KUPK right after this. Pride in the community shows in your work, your play, and your... And there's a handoff up the middle once again as we come back from the break. Jared Kinzinger up the middle. He's going to get about three more yards. And all of a sudden, Liberal starting to go to their fullback. And Liberal is showing they can run the ball, too. They've got a good ground game. Brady Pollock did it on the stop that time for the Red Demons. But Liberal getting some good uh, surge up front as well from their offensive line. Guys like Robbie Lanning, Roger Hoffman, and Brian Westhoff doing the blocking up front. High formation for the Skins. Here's a little misdirection. Kevin Hammond's caught in the backfield, and he is swarmed under at the 42-yard line. A big defensive play that time for the Red Demons as they were just breaking through in droves, coming pouring into the backfield and running him down. Chapman turns and gives that time to Hammond. And Hammond just couldn't get outside. He was hit first by Ronnie Priest, slowed down, and then finished off that time by the Red, the Red Demons. Hammond averaging over nine yards a carry on the season, but that's not going to help his totals at all. Here, Liberal goes to the shotgun. They were successful in this against Guyman last week. Chapman looking downfield. He throws high. The ball is tipped and incomplete as he was looking for Matt Hensley. And Hensley just couldn't get high enough to pull that thing down a little bit high he had to jump up for it just couldn't bring it down and uh, liberal now looking at a fourth down and long after that big loss on the previous play here's the pass he had some time just threw it a little high hands so just couldn't quite get a grip on it let's see what the redskins are going to do in this situation they're at the dodge city 37 philip aguilar is in the game but he's going to a wide out position so they're going to go for it Big play here for the Redskins. See if they go on a delay count. No. Chapman will drop back, looking for Aguilar. It's up high and picked off by Dodge City. Dodge City bringing it back the other way. Jason Brandenburg up the far sideline, taken out of bounds near the 50-yard line, but Dodge City has come up big once again. And that time, Brandenburg able to make that pick because Aguilar went high in the air and just got a hand on the ball, deflected it, and there was nothing else he could do, but Brandenburg was right behind him on coverage, waiting for it. Here's the play. Chapman, he's got the man open. The coverage was behind him, but Aguilar could do nothing but deflect the ball right into the hands of Brandenburg, who turned it upfield for a big return, gets it up near midfield for the Red Demon. That's about a 25-yard return for Brandenburg on the interception. 5.48 to go. Dodge City with their ball control offense might be able to grind this one out, but they're looking to pass Cahoon. Trying for a little quick out, and that didn't look good at all. Well, as we said, passing not a major part of the Dodge City offense. There's a reason for that. Uh, they run better than they pass, and so the Red Demons probably will get back for that. I'm sure it, I that on that. Side. But this is an opportunity for them to show a little bit of the pass is something that Dodge City can use just to show people something different when they're playing. It's not all running. You're going to pass once in a while, so you got to be ready for it. Coach Dick Masters. Not at all happy with the way that one came out. I hope it wasn't my commentary he was mad at. <laughs> Second and 10. There's Goolsby up the middle, pounding his way across the 50, down to about the 45-yard line. And uh, one of our statisticians, Frank Lasser, passed me a note a little while ago that says Goolsby reminds him of a Kenyan Rashid type or a Jerome Bettison 
That's a pretty good assessment. Well, and he's a hard, strong runner, and uh, he's got to be piling up the yardage here tonight. He had a big first quarter, but still pounding the ball downfield for the Red Demons. And that puts Goolsby over the 100-yard mark, 14 carries for 101 yards. We're in the first half, folks. Here comes Smith. Smith breaks a couple tackles. He's got a first down across the 40, down to about the 37-yard line with 5.06 to go here in the first half. And another tackle by Roger Hoffman, the 5'9", 170-pound senior for the Redskins, making a lot of big hits out there. That time Aguilar slows him down. Hoffman coming over. But Hoffman's been making a lot of those tackles from behind, just running people down. Hoffman, one of the stalwarts of that defense from a year ago. Cahoon will hand to Goolsby, and he's tripped up for, oh, only a gain of two. <laughs> oh, only a gain of two that time as the defensive line was able to get a hand in there and slow him down a little bit. Hoffman might have been one of the players in on the stop again. But uh, good defense that time for the Redskins. It'll be second and long as the Dodge City comes to the line. But the run has been very effective and has not been stopped by much so far tonight for the Red Demons. Second about eight for the Red Demons. Split backs now in the backfield. Here comes Goolsby on the toss. He cuts it back. Gets down to about the 30. There's not too many 235-pound running backs that can make a cutback like that. Now, good running. Good stop that time. Brady Pollington got in there to make the first hit. Matt Steen came up to get the second hit on Goolsby, who just keeps racking up the yardage all over. Freddy, well over 100 yards tonight. We're still in the first half. Here comes Pollington with the first hit, and Matt Steen gets in there to help out along with a couple of other Redskins. Third down now for the Demons. Liberal shifting the defense quite a bit. Here's a trap play to Smith off the left-hand side. Looks like he'll be close to the first down. I believe he's probably got it with 3.36 to go here. They're going to call a timeout and maybe take a measurement. Brady, or, uh, Rob Lanning again in there on the stop for the Redskins that time. And uh, Roger Hoffman uh, getting in there as well to mix things up. And standing over the play. He seems to be just about everywhere on the field for Liberal. The Redskins' defense is not the biggest. They uh, don't have a whole lot of 200-pounders, as this measurement looks to be just a little bit short. The liberal, liberal style is to do a lot of swarming, swarming to the ball and, and just defense by numbers. They haven't been able to do that because Dodge City's blocking schemes have been working very well. It's fourth and inches here with a three-and-a-half to go here in the second quarter. Liberal has not been able to stop Dodge City all night when they've gone to Gr Brian Goolsby. Fourth and short. There's the handoff to Goolsby. Boy, he's met at the line. Falls forward. He's going to get the first down. But they laid some hats on him. They were ready for him that time. They hit him hard and had him. And just basically his size as he fell forward is what's going to give Dodge City the first down that time. But it was good defense that time for the Redskins. A great defensive surge. They hit him hard right there to begin him. with. He keeps those legs driving and then just falls forward. Even when he falls, he's shredding tackling. <laughs> Liberal's going to call a timeout as Gary Cornelson wants to talk to his defense. We'll talk a little bit about what Liberal needs to do here, Kirk. They haven't been able to stop that city as of yet. Brian Goolsby has been shredding this defense. He's up around 120 yards now. And uh, what can they do to stop the big guy? Shoot him. <laughs> but uh, barring that, uh, they're just going to have to take better advantage of their quickness. They've got some speed. They're going to have to start bringing some people, their linebackers, into the backfield, try to catch Goolsby before he builds up ahead of steam. They're just going to have to take advantage of that and start uh, sliding by some of these blocks coming off this offensive line. If they can stack the middle a little better, plug the holes a little bit, Goolsby's going to have to look outside, and that's where the speed of Liberal will make a difference for the Redskins. On offense, they just have to take better advantage of Chapman and Olsen. You see some of the members of Kids Incorporated right there. They will, they've all shown up donning their jerseys tonight in support of the Redskins. Here's a reverse out by Cahoon. He maybe got a yard on that as the defense closed up very quickly. Looked like Brett Rohrbaugh coming up from his defensive end position. Rohrbaugh is only a sophomore, 6'4", 200-pound sophomore. He is a big boy, but he's obviously very quick as he was able to get over there to snag Cahoon that time on a short game. Dodge City driving. We're inside of three minutes. 
Cahoon with Goolsby in the backfield. Here comes the reverse to Freeze. Nice kick out block, and Freeze can't quite get to the outside as the Liberal Redskins close quickly. Looked like Robbie Lanning and Roger Hoffman over there. And that is the play that uh, Ronnie Freeze was able to break for a big game, 70-yard run last week on a touchdown that was called back. Also, Matt Hensley getting over there for the Redskins. So good pursuit that time. They were able to smell that play out and just stay with it to run down Freeze that time. So he hasn't been able to break anything, but Smith and Goolsby have been breaking enough for everybody. Big third down right here with two minutes and five seconds to go in the first half. Liberal coming on a blitz right up the middle. Goolsby off the left side. And he is taken down at about the 21-yard line. Now it's fourth down. You hate to come up empty on a drive like this. But Dodge City has not tried a field goal all season. Brian Goolsby is their kicker. Wes Honderbarrows at times will come in and do some kicking. But uh, if this is liberal, you know you've got Philip Aguilar. Dodge City uh, has yet to try a field goal. You, you expect him to go for it. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see him kick right here. This is That's not their style. They're going to go for it. Fourth and six. This would be a big lift for the Redskins going in at halftime if they can stop it. Here comes Cahoon on the fake. He is off tackle, and he is off to the races. Nobody's going to get him. Touchdown, Ty Cahoon. Boy, what a call by the crafty veteran Dick Masters on the sideline. And what do you expect them to do? You expect them to go to Brian Goolsby or, at the very least, Andy Smith. Ty Cahoon keeps it himself, comes around the left side. Only one guy had a chance to get him and couldn't slow him down enough to bring him down. Ty Cahoon goes in for the touchdown, about a 22-yard run that time for the Red Demons. Now they'll line it up for the extra point. Brian Goolsby on to do the kicking on it. There's the snap. It's high. The, the ball's put down and it's drilled into the line. <laughs> no Somebody good. got hit. It probably didn't feel good either. With 1.22 to go, our score is Dodge City 13, Liberal nothing. We're going to keep it right here. And we're going to take a look at this touchdown by Ty Cahoon. Look at the flow of the defense as it's all going with Andy Smith, and Cahoon cuts it back. And here you see the one man who had a chance to get him just got a hand on him, couldn't do anything with him. He just flies by, and there's nobody left to cover Ty Cahoon all the way in for the touchdown. Now a nice ground-level view. He'll be coming right into your kitchen. See the nice blocking on Jared Kinsinger. And, boy, that play was just set up perfectly as Ty Cahoon was off to the races, and there was nobody, I mean nobody, on the left-hand side to even touch him. Looked like Steve Calhoun was the only Redskin with even a shot at him, but all he could do was get an arm on him and uh, slow him down, drag the play out a little bit longer, but nobody else had a chance to catch Cahoon that time. And uh, things are going Dodge City's way right now. The Redskins have a minute 22, though, to get something going before half. 221 yards of total offense for the Dodge City Red Demons. They'll line it up to kick it off. We invite you to stay tuned at halftime as Kirk Hutchinson will be talking to the print or the superintendents rather of both schools. Here's the kick for Dodge City. Eric Love takes it at the 10 yard line. Looks like the reverse. No, it's a fake reverse. And Love is swarmed inside the 20. Once again, liberals starting deep in their own territory. And good coverage that time by the Red Demons. They were all over the field down there, and there's just not enough blocking up front four liberals to try to get anything going on that return and starting again as you said inside the 20 yard line a long way from the goal line 114 to go here in the first half and the clock's running 13 to nothing Dodge City we'll see what liberal decides to do if they'll just try to run it out or if they'll try to get a score before the end of the first half here's also also cuts up the middle and then he is swarmed under by a host of Dodge City tacklers. Montoya also has had some good runs tonight, but Dodge City's pursuit has been very good. Philip Aguilar checking into the game for the Redskins. He usually comes in and passing situations. Same with Kevin Hammond. 35 seconds to go. Liberal with a full house backfield. Chapman will fake the handoff and run the option, and he is swarmed under once again. Good pursuit by Dodge City with 21 seconds to go in the first half. Dodge City 13, Liberal nothing. So far, Lamar Chapman had that one good drive where he broke a couple long runs, and it looked like they may take it in before it stalled out around the 20, and they had a pass picked off. 
three seconds left, two seconds. Liberal going to try to get one off, and the half will come to an end. At halftime, our score, the Dodge City Red Demons 13, the home team Liberal Redskins nothing. You're watching WAC Conference football on KUPK Channel 13. We'll be back with a halftime show after this. JAG Constructions. And welcome back to Redskins Field in Liberal as the Dodge City Red Demons lead the Liberal Redskins 13 to nothing here on our WAC Conference game on KUPK Channel 13. It was Dodge City taking the lead early as they stalled out on their first drive. Liberal couldn't do anything on their second drive. Dodge City takes it in as, as Brian Goolsby pounds it in from five yards out. They end up adding another touchdown on a Ty Cahoon run late in the first half, and Dodge City has pretty much dominated this one. And uh, as part of our halftime festivities, we'd like to invite you to take a listen to these high school bands, two of the better bands in southwest Kansas. You have not just the liberal band, it's that liberal band and the Dodge City Marching Demons. Both of them are pretty fine high school marching bands, and we'd like to take you down there and let you listen to them. And it's been a hard day. Anybody can brag about their own work, but you build your business on rep. And welcome back to Redskin Field in Liberal, Kansas, as we are at halftime with the Dodge City Red Demons leading the Liberal Redskins 13 to nothing. 
The fans being entertained at halftime by that liberal band, and we'll bring you just a little more of it here. He's no Lady Madonna, but let's go down to Kirk Hutchinson on the sideline. He's standing by with the superintendents of both schools. Kirk, take it away. And thanks for that wonderful introduction, Monty. Standing with me right now, enjoying the band, is Dr. Harvey Ludwig of Liberal, High, uh, Liberal School System, superintendent, and a great show they're putting on. Oh, excellent. We're very proud of that young band and uh, the gentleman who puts it together. Well, they do a good job now in the school system. You, of course, have a big job yourself of overseeing all of this, and this year your enrollment's up. Yes, in the state of Kansas, the way the new school finance law is put together, if your enrollment goes up, so does your income. This year we went up about 205 students, and we're looking forward to uh, finding the right place for that additional fund, those additional funds. And uh, where are you going to put all those students? That's a good question. We've got some hot spots that we're watching very closely. But for the most part, they've been spread out throughout the district. How do you feel about uh, your programs this year in the in the liberal school system? Well, we've just had a tremendous start. It's uh, been excellent. The students have come together for learning, and the teachers are really uh, inspired this year. Uh, we're really excited about the, the beginning. We're kind of waiting for the other shoe to fall because uh, it's just almost too good to be true, but we're really excited so far. We need this score to kind of balance that before the uh, before the end of the game, then we'll really be happy. Okay, well, thank you, Dr. Ludwig, for joining us here at halftime. Let me turn to my other side, and with me is Dr. Gene Young, superintendent for the Dodge City Schools, and uh, you must be enjoying this football game pretty well right now. Well, I am, but I know how these games go, and I'm sure this will get tighter in the second half. Actually, I was admiring Harvey's hat there. He's got a state championship football hat on. I'm hoping we can wear one of those before the year's over in Dodge City. Now, we talked about the enrollment in Liberal. You, of course, have increasing enrollment all the time in Dodge City, and you're working to do something about that right now. Well, our enrollment's up again this year, not quite as much as last year. We are building three new schools. That's been quite a fun project in many ways, and we're just getting to the exciting part of that. People uh, can come out now and start seeing the walls go up, and we're hoping we have those finished by next year at this time, if not before. Are you pleased with the progress, then, on the schools? Well, we're a little slower than I really wanted, but uh, we're making good progress now. If we get a good winter, I think we'll be okay. If we have a winter like we had two years ago, we may reopen those at Christmas or later. How much impact is increased enrollment having for you? Uh, we're up about 360 kids over the last two years. So we're, we were tight before that in our schools, and we're even tighter now. Okay. Well, Dr. Young, thank you for joining us, and our thanks to Dr. Ludwig from the liberal school system as well. We're at halftime, Liberal and Dodge City, football action on KUPK. From the actual oil or gas well drilling to servicing the pump jacks and wells, Patrick Well Service and Liberal has the equipment and the people necessary to perform a completely professional job. With over 85 employees in the tri-state area and over 24 rigs operating out of several different yards in Kansas, Oklahoma and Colorado, Patrick Wells Service has built a strong reputation for offering outstanding service and safety. Patrick Wells Service, 852 Petroleum Road, Liberal. For the best values this fall, who do you turn to? For fashions, for home electronics, for fabrics, for computers, for sporting goods, for women's fashions, for all your automotive needs. Layaway with no service charges. Your favorite Pepsi products at the best price in town. Real value conscious buyers know that the right turn is to Walmart, and they simply won't be undersold. And we guarantee us. Garden City Dodge City Liberal in Diamond, Oklahoma. If you've had severe pain in your abdomen with bloating or nausea, you might have gallstones. Until recently, gallbladder surgery required a long hospital stay and weeks of recovery. Today, with laparoscopic surgery, most people go home the next morning and recover in less than a week. If you're putting off treatment for these symptoms, contact the Dodge City Medical Center. You could be just days away from a healthier way of life.
the Dodge City Medical Center, where concern for your care comes first. JAG Construction's Ready Mix Division now has plants in Dodge City, Sublette, Liberal, and Guymon, Oklahoma, offering the latest in concrete production and reliability. JAG can also bring the plant to you with its new Fastway portable operation. The Ready Mix is on your job site, leaving you in total control. From customized paving to large concrete construction, JAG is equipped for any Ready Mix project. JAG Construction Company in Liberal, Dodge City, Sublette, and Guymon, Oklahoma. And welcome back to Redskin Field in Liberal, Kansas. As our halftime score reads, Dodge City 13, the Liberal Redskins nothing. Right now the crowd being entertained by Kids Incorporated. And uh, let's take a look at some of the action down on the field as they are entertaining this home crowd here in Liberal. We're going to take a look at the highlights here as the first score came on this Brian Goolsby five-yard touchdown run. This capped off a 60-yard drive in about five plays. Dodge City was on top early, 7-0. Then late in the second half, Dodge City driving on a fourth down play. Ty Cahoon fakes the handoff to Andy Smith. The entire defense shifts that way. Then Ty Cahoon showing his athletic ability as the rest of the blockers steal everybody else. He's off to the races. And Cahoon sprints in about 19 yards for the touchdown. Dodge City leads it 13-0 here at the half. entertaining this halftime crowd as our score is 13 to nothing. We'll be back with the stats right after this on KUPK Channel 13. Pride in the community show. And welcome back to Redskin Field here in Liberal as our halftime score reads the Dodge City Red Demons 13, the Liberal Redskins nothing. Dodge City has dominated this game, especially on the ground as we will take a look at the halftime stats. You can see the Red Demons with 221 yards on the ground, 31 carries. Liberal, 14 carries for 70 yards. That's a big difference in the total offense as well. Liberal has completed just one of six in the air. They have 14 yards on that completion, 84 yards overall. Dodge City, 221 all on the ground. 14 first downs to five for Dodge City. Turnovers even at one apiece, and, and Kirk, you can tell by just looking at the stats that Dodge City is really having their way with Liberal this evening. Well, they have been pretty dominant, Monty, and it might be even worse if it hadn't been for that turnover on their first drive when they drove 60 yards, got down to about the 20, and then turned it over on a fumble. But as soon as they got the football back after that series, they went right back down and scored a touchdown. So it, right now, for the first half anyway, it's been all Dodge City. The Liberal Redskins are no pushovers, and we can expect them to come back out fighting here in the second half. And the Liberals' credit, had they held Dodge on that last series, this could very easily be a 7 to nothing ball game, and they would feel like they are right in it, right a part of this ball game. Uh, it's 13 to nothing now. I'm sure they'll come out charged here in the second half. We're looking for a great second half of action. And we want to thank the administration and athletic departments of Liberal and Dodge City High Schools for their excellent cooperation in making tonight's telecast possible. Special thanks also to Dale Reed for providing students to assist our crew. Gary Ray of Ray Roofing and Supply Incorporated for providing the scissor truck in the end zone, getting, giving us some of those great end zone shots. Uh, Laco and Lena Hardwalker of the Country Gourmet for providing their famous hamburgers for our production crew. Hope you enjoyed those guys. And, of course, all the great sponsors who brought you tonight's telecast as well. And let's run. We're going to take a break here as the teams have entered their three-minute warm-up period. Our halftime score reads the Dodge City Red Demons 13, Liberal nothing. We'll be right back on KUPK after this. From the actual oil or gas well drilling to... And welcome back to Redskin Field in Liberal, Kansas. Dodge City leading at the half, 13 to nothing. And before we go any farther... Kirk has some people that we need to thank. We need to thank some of our fine sponsors helping bring us this telecast tonight. George Nielsen Motor Company, Feist Publications, JAG Construction, Dodge City Medical Center, Walmart, GMC Dealers of Southwest Kansas, the OBGYN Associates of Southwest Kansas, Drs. Knutson and Patron, 
Patrick Wells Service, McGee Roofing, Southwest Medical Center, Milhans Honda, also Bank of the Southwest, Medical Heights Dental Center, Drs. Kelly Cahoon and Kelly Hendricks, A&A Construction, Cypress Glass, Best Well Service, Paul's Paint and Body Shop, and also we'd like to express our appreciation to Wyanette, Jerry, and Mr. Lundy for providing the fine accommodations for our crew at the Best Western La Fonda Motel. Also enjoy their hospitality at the Best Western Vagabond in Hayes, Jayhawk in Junction City, and the Continental Inn in Manhattan. We'll take another break and be back with the opening kickoff of the second half right after this. And welcome back to Redskins Field. 13 to nothing as we get set to start this second half of action. Philip Aguilar will kick the ball off for the Redskins. Dodge City will get the ball first to start this second half. There's Aguilar's kick. It is high and fairly deep. Dodge City will bring it out. And they'll get the ball. And if the ball is loose on the turf. And let's see who covered it. Dodge City, it looked like they got it back. Jeremy Gunsner was the return man. He got jarred. Let's see, the they got to pull everybody loose. out of the pile there. The officials are pointing Dodge City's way, but regardless, Dodge City's going to start in the hole to start this second half. Looked and like Ty Cahoon might have been the one coming out from the bottom of the pile there. So he dove in. Gunther taking the return uh, just in front of his goal line and coming up and getting hit hard, fumbling the ball. So Dodge City's got a long way to go as they start here at the 13-yard line. And for the Liberal Redskins, this could be great for a chance to shut down Dodge City early come up with some good field position. Brian Goolsby had 119 yards rushing in the first half. Let's see if they go to him again. Yes, they do. Across the 20 is Brian Goolsby holding true to that seven-yard average. That's about what he got on that pickup. And that's the way things started in the first half for Dodge City as they just came out pounding. Robbie Landing that time in on the stop as well as some help from the secondary. And that's what the Redskins have to try to prevent is having to make tackles in the secondary, too much reliance in that first half on guys like Robert, Roger Hoffman, Philip Aguilar, and Jared Kinzinger to make those stops. Cahoon with two setbacks in the backfield. Here comes Goolsby off right tackle once again. Goolsby pulls his way over the 27-yard line out to about the 28. And once again, big holes there and a chance to really get up and push the ball downfield. And uh, Red, or the Red Demons starting out like they did in the first half, just pounding the ball. There you see several people trying to drag Goolsby down. Finally, Kinzinger holding on to him from behind. Managed to bring him down. Matt Hensley also in there with a hit. Dodge City sprints up to the line. They are ready to go. 13 to nothing. They want to get out of here with a win. Not an easy thing to do at Redskin Field. Goolsby off the left-hand side. Nice cutback. Takes on Bobby Wilson. Gets away from him. Spinning move. Out across the 40. Here goes Goolsby on a foot race to the 40. To the 30, and he is struck down by Roger Hoffman. Brian Goolsby is on fire. Tremendous run by Goolsby. The hit he put on Bobby Wilson at the line of scrimmage was just terrific. Wilson had him dead to rights, couldn't bring him down. They brought him down right there, or he got away right there, and then they finally dragged him down. Roger Hoffman out running. There you see him just push his way away from Wilson, and he spins by Chapman, runs over another guy, and he's off to the races. Philip Aguilar can only say bye-bye as he goes, reaching for a... For the flag, but this isn't flag football. Goolsby is run down finally by Roger Hoffman. Good speed that time. Hoffman coming up to drag him down. College recruiters everywhere need to wipe off their chins as they were drooling after that run. Brian Goolsby, a 235 pounds, a punishing runner, and he took it out on the liberal defense right there. The Dodge City single game rushing record, 245 yards. That may be in jeopardy tonight. Here comes Ronnie Priest on the little misdirection, and he is mad at himself because he had one man to beat before he was off to the races. And a shoestring tackle that time by Robbie Lanning, saving the day. Been calling his name a lot. Here you'll see in the middle of your screen, Robbie just waiting for the play to develop. You'll see Priest come flying by, and Lanning just reaches out, grabs his arm, and then grabs his feet, pulls him down. Still a pickup of about six on the play. Dodge City, second and four. Here in the early going in the second half, there's Goolsby off the right side, and he is stuck in the backfield. Nice defensive play once again by Roger Hoffman and Robbie Lanning, the two guys we've been calling their name all night. And they really got in there in a hurry. Matt Steen also helping plug things in the middle of the line that time. 
and uh, Hoffman, Lanning, and uh, Dean have all been doing a job on defense for the Redskins, and they've got a job to do with Goolsby as he has just been running rough shot over this defense so far tonight, but a good stop that time by the Redskins. Third and four, we've seen Dodge City be very effective in the middle of the field and then have a little trouble once they get inside the 30. Here's the misdirection to Freeze. Freeze breaks into the secondary, and he is inside the 20 down to about the 16. Gang tackled that time by Chapman Hensley and Roger Hoffman coming from behind to grab him. But Hoffman's been making a lot of tackles that way, which tells you that Dodge City's been having their way up front. Here's the whole lots of running room that time for Freeze. Chapman dives out of Hensley, and Hoffman finishing him off there at the end. But another big run. This drive has lasted almost three and a half minutes so far. Ty Cahoon will pitch it to Smith. Smith following his blockers. The ball is on the ground. Liberal has it. Once again, Dodge City to open a half, marches the ball down the field, gets inside the Liberal 20, and hands it over. And that time, Lamar Chapman with the recovery. But like you said, a big drive, good opening drive. They're marching down the field, and Smith just can't hang on to the football. Let's see who jars it loose here. Chapman just pulls it out of there with his arm and then goes and gets it. Great play by Lamar Chapman from his left cornerback position. We'd like to remind you, you're watching high school football on KUPK Channel 13 in Garden City. Glad to have you along this evening as we've got a good one here. Dodge City leading 13 to nothing. And Liberal has dodged a bullet once again. Lamar Chapman brings his troops up to the line at the 11. Here comes Alsop. Alsop with a big hole. Alsop to the 30. Cuts back to the 35. And he goes down to about the 38-yard line. All of a sudden, Liberal with an explosive burst. And there's the speed of that Redskin team coming to the forefront. Well, we mentioned in the first half, the Redskins hadn't done anything to get their speed unleashed. Well, they did that time. Look at Alsop. Burst through the middle. There's a big hole created by that offensive line. He's going to sail right by Ty Cahoon here, right in front of you, right there, and Brian Goolsby will finally drag him down. Liberal coming up in a hurry. Here's Alsop once again. He is met at the line and knocked back. This one's starting to take on the feel that we thought it would have as both crowds starting to get into the ballgame. Shane Webb with a nice hit for Dodge City there. Well, this is the kind of excitement and intensity we expected coming in, and we expected it to be Dodge City's power against Liberal speed. In the first half, it was Dodge City's power making the difference. Let's see if Liberal speed can, un can turn things around here in the second half. Wide receiver to the far side for Chapman. He also has a man in the slot. He wants to pass the ball. Plenty of time. Now the, the pocket breaks down. Chapman throws. He's got a man, and it is caught at the 40-yard line. No, they say he was juggling as he went out of bounds. It looked to be Philip Aguilar on the far sideline. And for Dodge City, Andy Smith standing 15 yards deep in the backfield wondering, how did I miss that guy? I had him. I had him. There you'll see the rollout. Chapman, lots of time, and then Smith comes flying up, and Chapman says, goodbye. Chapman so strong, and plus you add that with his quickness, makes him a dangerous quarterback. And you see Aguilar falling out of bounds. Ruled an incompletion. Third and about 11 for the Redskins. The offset eye once again. Kinzinger, the fullback, also. Now here's the reverse to Kevin Hammond. It didn't work in the first half. It's not going to work now as he is caught back at the 34-yard line. Kevin Hammond has not been able to get on track on that reverse play yet this evening. Not at all. And unfortunately for the Redskins, Dodge City has yet to be fooled by that play. Uh, they didn't think also had the ball. Nobody even glanced a second time at him. And uh, there you see on the replay, Hammond getting stuffed in the backfield. Philip Aguilar will be back to punt for the Liberal Redskins. The Dodge City Red Demons will take over once again. Should get it in pretty good field position. Aguilar gets the snap. It's a good one, and he boots it high end over end kick. Will come down at about the 30. Takes a high bounce out of bounds, and they will mark it at about the 27-yard line. We've got a timeout on the field. With 6.36 to go here in the third quarter, our score, Dodge City 13, Liberal nothing. We'll be right back on KUBK after this. Save thousands of dollars on 1994 GMC. Every GMC dealer in Southwest. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Where did that come from? Oh, oh. yes it was. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't see her in the stands tonight. 
And we're back here in the third quarter with uh, Dodge City ready to start over again. You know, Liberal in the first half, Monty, on one of their last drives, had a couple of big plays, couldn't turn it into anything. A big play here on the series, couldn't turn it into anything. Dodge City already nearing the 300-yard mark here early in the second half. And that looks to be Goolsby once again going over the 30-yard line. And he gets a lot of carries, but he can take it. That actually was Ronnie Freese with the ball. Steen, Bobby Wilson, uh, probably pulled, uh, let's see, Roger Hoffman out of the pile there. Matt Hensley was there. The, most of the Redskins were there that time. Not pulled. Uh, Freese coming inside this time to carry it. There's Hoffman with a hit, Steen with a hit, and then everybody else. The gang tackling we talked about was a good pursuit from the Redskin defense getting in there to finish him off. Redskins need to shut this down quickly and get the ball back and see what they can do on the offensive end. Ronnie Priest once again having a little trouble with it. Looked like the ear pad in his helmet. He's got it snapped back in there and we're ready to go here with just over six minutes to play here in the second quarter. Here comes the toss sweep once again to the near side and Liberal does a pretty good job of pursuit on that one. Wes Onaveros on the carry for Dodge City. First time Onaveros has touched the ball tonight. Kinzinger in there on the stop. Looked like uh, Steen might have been as well and a good pursuit that time by the Redskin defense, and this is their chance to prove what they can do defensively because they really need to shut down the Red Demons, get the ball back, and see what their offense can do with it. Third and about four for the Red Demons. Goolsby and Onaveros in the backfield. Here goes Cahoon. He wants to run the option. He's going nowhere as it was Lanning scooting through to get him first. Roger Hoffman also in there with Brett Rorabaugh. Good pursuit that time by the Redskins. They did what they needed to on defense. We talked about that at halftime and in the, early in the first half, that they needed to be able to pursue. They needed to break off their blocks, use their speed, and dive into the backfield, force the Red Demons to make some decisions too early in the backfield. That's what they did that time to Ty Cahoon. Kevin Gwaltney will come in to do the punting honors for Dodge City, just his second punt on the evening. 41 yards on his last one. And once again, good pressure by Liberal, and he booms this one. Philip Aguilar chased back. Inside is 30. The ball will roll out of bounds at the 28-yard line. So the teams exchange punts, and Liberal will take over at the 28 with 4.48 to go here in the third. Thus far, Liberal really living and dying by the big play. Well, they are. They had some big plays in the first half, had one here in the second half, but they haven't been able to generate those, add those up into any kind of sustained drive. Chapman with wide receivers to either side. He, he gives it up the middle. It looked like Alsup, and he is going nowhere as he actually will lose a couple yards on the play. Pitskin's trying a lot of deception now. They've got Chapman running out of the backfield full speed. Some other players sprinting out, trying to draw the defense out with them. That time also couldn't even get past the line of scrimmage. That's really what makes Liberals so dangerous is that deception and that speed because they can break one at any time. Here's the toss sweep to Alsop. Alsop is stuck after a gain of about one or two. It looks once again like it was Troy Thomas in there along with Shane Webb. Troy Thomas with a big hit that time slicing through. Let's see it on the replay. Alsop will get it on the sweep, trying to find some running room. Not a whole lot there. And there's Thomas and uh, some friends. Freeze comes in there at the end, and boy, Dodge City. Looking strong on defense. He did pick up a few yards. It's going to be third and about eight. Chapman having problems with the snap on his helmet. He'll get an official timeout as he has some equipment problems. Had to fix a couple of helmets here tonight. These guys are getting banged around out there. Well, I'm telling you, there's some helmets popping out there tonight. Chapman in the offset eye once again. All kinds of pressure, but Chapman gets through it. Around the right side, he's got the first down out to about the 40-yard line, and he is drilled once he gets into the secondary, but a nice run by Lamar Chapman. Brandon Tassett back there to corral him. West on Barrow slowed him down a little bit, but that's about all he did was slow him down. Some good, strong running from Chapman. Here he shows his speed, just outruns the defensive pursuit. Getting outside, you see him sliding by one guy. Onto Barrow hits him once, and then finally Tassett brings him down. Tassa coming off the field limping after that play. Dodge City with 10 men up near the line of scrimmage, and they stack that play up for a loss of about one. 
Dodge City likes to play the game right in the trenches. That's where they want to play football with you. They want you to try to bang straight ahead. They want to be able to bang right back. That's what the Red Demons did right there that time. Liberal trying to go up the middle. There just isn't much there for them. Uh, the Redskins have got to find the holes to the outside. The Demons almost daring Liberal to pass the ball right now. As you can see, there are about 10 men within three to five yards of the line of scrimmage. Ty Cahoon just playing center field. Hensley is open. Chapman underthrows him this time. In the first half, Chapman was overthrowing his receivers. He just hasn't been that sharp tonight, Kirk. He hasn't been able to hit on the passes at all, and Hensley was open that time underneath the coverage. Here you'll see Chapman dropping back. He's got time to make a decision here, and he throws it. Just can't quite get it to Hensley, who is in between the defensive backs. And he was open had the pass been there. So it will be third and long for the Liberal Redskins, third and 11. Eric Love to the near side. Also have a split out to the far side. It looks like Aguilar. Here goes Chapman. He's split back. Sprints out to the far side. He is swarmed under right there. Gets back maybe to the line of scrimmage, and it's fourth down. Once again, the Dodge City defense holding. And once again, the Liberal Redskins get a big play or two. They just can't string them together and put together that long, sustained drive. The best they had was late in the first half. They got deep into Dodge City territory only to have a pass intercepted that ended that drive. But here, they got a big play from Chapman to get him out to the 40-yard line and then unable to take advantage of that missing on a couple on a pass and then having a couple of running plays stuffed early. Noah Bagular will back will drop back to do the kicking duties. You can see on the sideline right now, Brandon Tassett getting an ankle tape for Dodge City. He came off limping after a tackle just a few minutes ago. Here's Aguilar's kick. It's high, but not too deep. And it will go out of bounds. Looks like he might have shanked it. With 2.26 to go, it's going to be Dodge City's ball. They lead it 13 to nothing. We'll be back with more football on KUGK right after this. Surprising opportunities await you in Liberal. Lots of retail shopping, tourism, and recreation. Visit the Mid-America Air Museum, Dorothy's House, or the Coronado Museum. Whatever you do in Liberal, you'll find warm, friendly people. And we're back at Redskin Field, and we just saw a punt. We're going to see another one. As we had a penalty on the play, Philip Aguilar will drop back once again. The distance wasn't enough to give Liberal a first down, so it's now fourth and five. I don't think Gary Cornelson might try something tricky here, do you? No. No. <laughs> The punt is away, and it comes down, almost catches a Dodge City player. Now maybe it does. They go scrambling for it. It'll be inside the 30. Once again, Dodge City will take over at about the 28-yard line. 2.16 to go here in the third. Dodge City leading this one 13 to nothing. The time on that return, trying to corral that thing, was a little bit of button, button. Who's got the button? Dodge City now, all they got to do is put their offense back in motion the way they were doing it throughout the first half is just put it on the ground, give it to Goolsby, give it to Smith, and just grind up some clocks, see what kind of a drive they can put together. Ty Cahoon back to call the signals for the Dodge City Red Demons. He gives up the middle to Goolsby. Goolsby stuffed by Bobby Wilson. That may be the first time tonight that Goolsby has not gone for a positive yardage. Roger Hoffman also in there to help on the stop that time. And uh, Bobby Lanning getting up off the pile. So they've been getting good support from the linebackers in the, uh, in the middle there to stop some of that run. And they've done a little better job stopping Goolsby and the running attack here in the third quarter than they were able to do in the first half. So we'll see if the Redskins can keep that up. Liberal's biggest problem right now, they got to figure out how to get points on the board once they have the football. Ty Cahoon. With Goolsby and Smith in the backfield, Cahoon's going to keep it as he goes off left tackle. Cahoon once again breaks into the secondary. Hensley, the last line of defense, he brings him down at the 48-yard line. So once again, Ty Cahoon on that misdirection play, and it goes for a big gainer. And that's what makes this Red Demon offense so dangerous is that you can't just key on Goolsby because they've got the quarterback, Ty Cahoon, who can run like a gazelle. They've got Andy Smith. They've got Ronnie Freeze. They can just keep coming at you with one weapon after another. Good open field running here by Cahoon. Dodge City moving the chains once again. First and 10, just inside their own territory. Here comes Cahoon on the near side. He is stuffed after a, game, a gain of about five. Nice hit by Lamar Chapman as the quarterback. Exchange pleasantries. Chapman hits him hard and says, hello, my name's Lamar. How you doing? 
Matt Hensley also there to come in and help finish him off. It's going to be a gain of four, make it about second and six. As we're winding it down here in the third quarter, 35 seconds to go in the third cadenza, and this has been moving along at a pretty good clip. Fairly quickly through this third quarter. Two good running teams, and you'll see that. Here comes the reverse to Freese. Freese had a hold it. Roger Hoffman closed it off. It'll be a gain of about three. Robbie Lanning and Bobby Wilson in there to finish him off at the end. Roger Hoffman slowed him down, forced him to tuck in a little quicker than he wanted to. There just wasn't much room there to go. Good pursuit. We're seeing that Redskin defense get some good pursuit here in the second half. And that's going to bring us to the end of the third quarter as time runs out. We'll take another break and bring you back. Bring you back for the fourth quarter of action. Dodge City leads it 13 to nothing. You're watching WAC Conference Football on KUBK. Anybody can brag about their own work, but you build your business on reputation. What others think of your work? For such a large project, we looked long and hard to find the very best person for the job, and we finally chose you. And your work really proved that. From local churches to commercial to residential roofs, Vernon and the crew have done the top of the line. McGee Roofing uses only the very best, highest quality roofing materials, and they've got it in stock. Give McGee Roofing a call now. Pride in the community shows in your work, your play, and your education. Doctors Knudsen and Patron take great pride in all the kids of Southwest Kansas, and particularly Liberals' educational system. Kids are our future. Give them the opportunity to enjoy the fullest of lives support their education, athletic, and academics. Go, kids. Be the best that you can be. This message brought to you by the OBGYN Associates of Southwest Kansas, Dr. Dennis Knudsen and Dr. Ricardo Patron. Welcome back. We've got 12 minutes to play. The Dodge City Red Demons have come into Liberal and taken a 13 to nothing lead. Dodge City with the ball in Liberal territory. Here goes Brian Goolsby, buries his head. And Robbie Lanning took him on, heads up. And Robbie Lanning did a good job, just met him head on and dropped him right there. Goosby picking up good yardage near the first down, but a good stop by Robbie Lanning, and he has played a terrific football game here tonight for the Redskins. And move the chains once again as Dodge City keeps it rolling right now. And I tell you, it was kind of funny. At halftime, you were talking with Superintendent Gene Young in Dodge City. He said he was a little bit envious of the state championship game, had a... Harvey Ludwig had on. Well, from the looks of this Red Demon Ball Club, there's a lot, lot of season to go, but they are showing the look of a champion tonight. They may get their shot. Cahoon will hand off once again up the middle. There goes Goolsby as he skates to the outside. And how many times has it happened tonight? You get this big mass of people, and all of a sudden, out pops a big number 30 going for another 12 yards. And that's the thing about him. He looks like he might be stopped or at least slowed down. Here he is just moving into the pile. He keeps looking, he keeps looking. He finds some running room. All of a sudden, he's gone. Hensley can't bring him down. He's finally snagged from behind. Chapman finishes him off that time. Another big run for Goolsby, and he's just racking up the yards here in this ball game tonight. Well over 100 yards, and he may be getting close to 200 before this game's over with. He is indeed. He is at 188 right now. <laughs> Phenomenal numbers being put up by Brian Goolsby. This is his Best rushing effort of the season thus far. Once he, again, the handoff up the middle. This time, it looks like it goes to Anaberos or Smith, possibly. And Jared Kinzinger in there on the stop for the Liberal Redskins. You know, the interesting thing about Goolsby and watching some of his uh, earlier games this season and looking at the stats and everything, he was really almost more impressive on defense than on offense tonight. He's done on offense. We haven't called his name that much on defense. 10.30 to go right now. If Dodge City scores here, boy, that makes it really tough for Liberal to come back. Here comes Cahoon on the option. He will cut it up field. Now he wants to get back outside. Nice job of screening it out by who else? Roger Hoffman. There's that pursuit from the Redskin defense with their speed. They were out there. They were waiting. They pushed him outside, kept pushing him outside until he had nowhere to go at the end. Steve Calhoun was out there forcing him outside. Here we'll see Cahoon now. Faking the handoff to Goolsby, and now he's just going to bring it out here on the rollout to the side. Gets by the line of scrimmage, but then there's nowhere to go. There's Calhoun, and here comes Roger Hoffman. There has been one surprise tonight, as 
We've got a timeout on the field. I'll finish my thought after we come back from a break. Our score with 9.47 to go here in the fourth. Dodge City 13, Liberal nothing. You're watching Black Conference football on KUBK Channel 13. Center. Welcome back. I was about to say as we went to the break, I'm, if there is one surprise, I thought maybe there would be a little more scoring in this ball game than there has been, but great defensive efforts by especially Dodge City. Here goes Cahoon off the left-hand side. He drives it down to the 20. The one thing that has kept Dodge City from scoring more is Dodge City. They fumbled the ball away in crucial situations a couple times tonight. Two crucial turnovers deep in liberal Redskin territory has kept them from scoring. But, you know, these two teams are high-powered offenses. They've been racking up the points over 30 points a game, both of them. But they've also been shutting people down. Liberal gave up their first touchdown of the season last week, and Dodge City's been giving up an average of about four points a game. Nine and a half minutes in Dodge City. Wants that nine and a half to go a little bit quicker. Here goes Goolsby up the middle, or maybe they're enjoying this. Brian Goolsby looks like he's having more fun with each rush. Goolsby just says, give me the football. Let me go hit somebody again. He came plow plowing through the line again. That time, Philip Aguilar put the finishing touches on him. Yeah, but deep in the secondary again, and that's what's been happening all night. Redskins have been tackling Goolsby back in their own secondary rather than at the line of scrimmage, although they've pinned him down a couple of times, but not often enough. Well, Brian Goolsby has said that uh, he will be satisfied with nothing less than a state championship this year, and uh, he's running like it Boy, right now. I'm telling you. He is impressive. And Oops. there's going to be some movement on Otaveros, although he tried to get out of it. He tried to make it look like he was going in motion. <laughs> it looked, it was a nice try there. Wes didn't think of that quite quick enough, but he tried to pick it up. Oh, no, I was going in motion. We got illegal motion on the white team. I'm telling you, it's that Canadian football. <laughs> 8.38 to go here in the game. And there you see Brian Omi on the sideline. This is one guy the Liberal has really missed tonight as he is one of Lamar Chapman's favorite targets and also a starter on defense on the sideline in crutches tonight. There goes Goolsby on the right-hand side. He pounds it down for about a four- to five-yard gain. But back to Omi, he has really been a big surprise for Liberal this year, and they do miss him in this ballgame. Uh, Brian Omi did not play last season after playing his sophomore year. He comes back this year. He's had some big plays uh, in, as part of the passing game for the Liberal Redskins, and he just hasn't been there tonight. I don't know if it would have mattered. Lamar Chapman hasn't been able to hit too many people tonight. Let's worry about Dodge City's offense right here as Cahoon sheds one tackler, sheds another one, cuts back. He is drilled after about a five-yard gain. Looks like he's going to get the first down. But it looks like Cahoon may be in some pain. He got hit hard. Roger Hoffman and Robbie Lanning nailed him down there, just sandwiched him. But it looked like Jared Kinzinger had him in the backfield and couldn't contain him. Here he is. Kinzinger's got him. Cahoon will not go down, slips by him. And now watch this hit from Hoffman and Lanning. Hoffman right there, Lanning right there. Ouch. Wow. Hoffman laid the leather to him right there, but Cahoon gets right back up. And it's first and goal once again for the Dodge City Red Demons. 7.20 and counting in this ballgame. Dodge City's trying to put a nail in the coffin. And here's a big nail called Brian Goolsby pounding it down inside the 5 to the 2. And just shoving the pile forward. He just kept driving and driving and driving. And you, you just, you're not going to tackle Brian Goolsby very often by standing him up. You've got to tackle him low. There you'll see he gets to the line and he stood up at the line of scrimmage. Runs into Bobby Wilson and look at him. Just shove him back and shove him back and shove him back. You're not going to catch Brian Goolsby by tackling him that way. you got to hit him low, which Roger Hoffman finally does. Brian Goolsby goes over the 200-yard mark on the night with that last play. And here's the handoff up the middle. Goolsby into the end zone. Touchdown. Tremendous power from Brian Goolsby. Good blocking on the offensive line. They have shoved their way into the end zone, and uh, Dodge City has really put a, put a lock on this one right now. Look at Goolsby going off the right-hand side. Not to, the, the guy's over six feet tall. He's 235, but he still runs fairly low to the ground. That's what makes him so tough to bring down. Now Goolsby will come in to try the extra point. There's some folks heading for the exit. That one is blocked once again. That is the one thing Goolsby hasn't done well tonight. 
We're going to take a break as Dodge City is leading in this one, 19 to nothing with just over six and a half to go. You're watching high school football on KUPK. We're back after this. For the best values this fall, who do you turn to for sporting goods? 30 rushes on the night for Brian Goolsby, 207 yards. That's right about seven yards a carry, and he has been dominating, Kirk. And he's got two touchdowns to add to his credit as well. He's just really been pounding it for the Dodge City Red Demons. What a performance by him tonight. 19 to nothing is our score, 637 to go. Dodge City will kick it off. Wes Onaveros to kick it deep. And we've got whistles, flag. They have an offside on Dodge City. We'll see what they call when they get back. That drive ate up about seven minutes and 39 seconds. Started late in the third quarter. Illegal procedure. What? We'll get back and drive. Sound like you said they were way off. Illegal procedure. A man in the neutral zone there on the right team will go for five yards back and re kick. We'll see what Honor Barrows can do from here. 80 yards on that drive, about 7 minutes and 39 seconds. Uh, used up about 14 plays, ending with Goolsby going in for the touchdown. Honor Barrows will tee it up once again. Deep for liberal, Eric Love. Along with Kevin Hammond and Montoya also. Straight on boot. And it's pretty deep. Also has it go off his hands. He's got it at the five. He's got to bring it out. The fake reverse. And also is running out of room in a hurry. He's down at the 12-yard line. Good job of containment by that Dodge City Red Demon special team. Well, they have done a terrific job all night on coverage getting down there. Andy Smith finally strung him out of bounds that time. But they had five or six Red Demons down there when Alsop finally picked up the ball. Gunsner also looked like he was getting over there in the containment. Six and a half minutes to go. Liberals got a strike. They got a strike quick. Well, there's no time for a drive. It's a big play right now. It's all Liberal can live by right here. See if Lamar Chapman just airs it out. And this is where the loss of Brian Omi really hurts Liberal. And here comes the running play. Up the middle. Drilled in the backfield is Montoya Alsop. Meet Wes on a barrow. And Wes met him hard right there and just drove him back that time. Also, who's had a couple of running plays that went for good yardage tonight, has pretty well been contained most of the night. And would you believe it if I told you the Liberal Redskins have been held to 100 yards in total offense tonight? Wes Antiparos believes it. He Man. put the stop right there on Montoya also. Dodge City came into a hostile territory, ready to play this evening. Here's the toss sweep to also also breaking through for about five or six. Still going to be well short of the first down, and the clock just keeps on moving. Jason Brandenburg that time getting over on the stop. Ryan Goolsby was there to kind of finish things off. And here's the pitch to also This is about the most effective play they've had with him tonight, trying to get him outside. Good pursuit that time by the Red Demon. Inside five and a half minutes. And Liberal deep in their own territory. They need three scores to win this one. Here comes the reverse. There actually goes right up the middle to Kinzinger. Kinzinger breaks one loose. Out across the 32. Kinzinger has had a couple pretty good runs this evening. Good deception that time by the Redskins as the guys are going in every which direction. And Kinzinger able to break one for about uh, 14 yards that time to get it out to the 32, pick up a liberal first down. They need points. They need them in a hurry. They're now closing in on the five-minute mark in this ball game. The stand's starting to clear out a little bit on the liberal side. Hammond in motion. Chapman under center. He wants to throw. They pick up the blitz. Now Chapman's going to run, and he is sacked in the backfield. Once again, it's Shane Webb and Brian Goolsby for the first time. I think we've called his name tonight. Goolsby finally breaks in there into the backfield and makes it, helps make a hit. But Shane Webb's the guy who made the play that time, a 6'5", 220-pound senior. Chapman looking for a receiver, needs a little time, and he's not going to get it. Shane Webb snags him as he tries to break out of the pocket. Goolsby there to help finish him off, but that is a loss of four for the Redskins. 
19 to nothing, 4.15 to go here in the ball game. Chapman will give it up the middle to Kinzinger again. Kinzinger pounding his way out across the 35 to the 36. This is something they could have used in the rest of the ball game, but right now it's not doing them a whole lot of good. Well, that's just it. Now the holes are there in the middle because Dodge City's playing to defend the pass, but uh, Liberal needed this kind of uh, offensive effort in the first half. They needed those holes to open up earlier for them. This has been a great performance by this Dodge City Red Demons team. Now we've got a timeout. Looks like an official's timeout right now. Is they got an equipment. Yeah. They will check the ear pads of Jared Kinzinger, 3.39 to go. 19 to nothing. Kinzinger's going to get a strap back on and will be ready to go. I would not be surprised. They really need to go deep, take a shot. Uh, it's third and seven. You need the first down, but right now it, it doesn't matter. He's got Aguilar wide to this side. Let's see what he does. There's Alsop. He is hitting the backfield, still dancing, still dancing, still dancing, and he is warmed under. He loses about seven. And right now, Dick Snaster is very pleased with the way his defense is playing. Well, very hard running by Montoya Alsop. He will not go down easily. We may have an injury now. Alsop is slow getting up as well as a Dodge City player underneath him. Officials time out. Boy, you hate to see this near the end of the game, as hard as these two teams have played. I think it's a Dodge City player. Also gets up off the pile. Let's see if we can tell who it is down there on the ground. Looks well, like Andy Smith. Up. It, it is Andy Smith. Looks like maybe an ankle or a knee, but he is coming off on the side. Hope that young man is all right, as he has also played a big part in this Dodge City victory tonight. You know, you want a running back like Montoya also out there who refuses to go down easily, but when there are six and seven guys with the wrong colored jersey on trying to knock him down after a while, it just it doesn't make any difference. And now Aguilar will drop back to punt once again. Dodge City not altogether sold that this is going to be a punt. And there Kinsinger right. drops the short snap. It's loose. And it doesn't matter who recovers it because it was fourth down. Dodge City will take over at the 32. Everything has gone wrong for Liberal tonight. I'm Jerry, not, Jerry Cornelson likes to pace the sideline, and uh, I think he's worn through those shoes tonight. I'm not sure if it was the snap, but Kinsinger looked more surprised than the Dodge City defense that time on the, on the fake as it hit him high, and he just never could control it. Dodge City's got a chance now to just run out the clock here with just under three minutes to play in the ball game at the Liberal 32. This one has been, ad as advertised, a lot of excitement, a lot of hard hitting. And now here they go, Wes Onabaros on the misdirection. Onabaros with a gain of about seven. And Dodge City really uh, has, has done the same thing tonight as they've been doing all season. They have. They just they come at you. There's no... Uh, no mystery about what the Red Demons are going to do. They just come at you and come at you and come at you, and they've been doing that to Liberal all night tonight. Looks like they're taking a look at Andy Smith's right ankle. Smith on the night, seven, seven rushes, 458 yards. He has played a big part in this Dodge City, what looks like is going to be a Dodge City victory with two minutes left. I think we're safe in saying it. <laughs> I'm not going to go too far out on it. I'm not going out on a limb. Ronnie Freese looking for the first down. And he's going to be close. The officials may have to measure this, and I think he looks like he may have it. I want to take a moment again to express our appreciation to Wyonette, Jerry, and Mr. Lundy for providing the fine accommodations for our crew at the Best Western La Fonda Motel. Also enjoy their hospitality at the Best Western Vagabond in Hayes, the Jayhawk in Junction City, and the Continental Inn in Manhattan. I remember the Continental Inn. We stayed there last year for the state championship game featuring these liberal Redskins who season is not over yet and Dodge City the ball looks like it may be loose as Cahoon really never got the snap from center he got the handoff away it's but it, it comes loose. Liberal, liberal has it with 129 to go 19 to nothing it's really pretty much academic right now as Dodge City leads in this one big one thing we need to say about the Liberal Redskins, they are losing 19 to nothing, and it's pretty certain that that's the way the score will end in this ball game. But the Redskins are still a good football team. They just ran into another very good football team tonight. They ran into a buzzsaw named Goolsey. And out of the shotgun, Lamar Chapman wants to throw. 
Once again, he delivers it high to Hensley, and he's been high all night. His receivers have really paid the price. Well, they have. He just been, hasn't been able to, to really connect on any of his passes out there tonight. Uh, just a little off. It's not been terribly off, but just enough that his receivers can't gather it in, and they just uh, end up getting hit by that good coverage from the Dodge City Red Demon. Some other big games going on in the area tonight as Garden City playing Hayes. What has happened to Hayes this year? They have lost a lot to graduation, and they are 0-3 on the year. Looks like a screen pass as Chapman gets it out. Troy Thomas trying to chase down Hammond. He finally gets the shoestring tackle about seven yards from the line of scrimmage as we're now inside one minute to go in the ballgame. You mentioned some of the games going on tonight. A couple of big eight-man contests going on in southwest Kansas. Buckland at Coldwater tonight. Both of those teams are undefeated. South Gray at Rolla, again, a matchup of unbeaten teams. Yeah, and Balco at Satana, another good one. The people down in, uh, down in Balco, Oklahoma, feel like they have a good team this year as well. Here comes Alsop on the near side. Alsop with some running room. He's going to try to cut it back, and he does to about the 47, 48-yard line with 33 seconds to go. Montoya Alsop doing what he does best, getting out into the open field and then making tacklers miss him. And finally double teamed there at the end of that run and brought down by the Dodge City Red Demons. Unfortunately for the Redskins, it's all coming too late for them in this one. And Dodge City getting some revenge for last year's loss up in Dodge City as they come down here to Liberal. You mentioned, Monty, the crowd was beginning to, to empty out here a few minutes ago, but when we got in here tonight, it was a packed house. A bunch of folks out here to watch some good high school football tonight, and they've seen some good Kansas high school football. And the Dodge City Red Demon crowd now going with the tomahawk chop. Maybe a little salt in the wound of the Liberal faithful. No love lost between these two sides, not at all. Chapman looking deep once again, throws over the middle and almost picked off by, well, take your pick. There were three demons with a shot at it right there. Wes Onibaros, Ronnie Priest, and uh, who else was back there for the Red Demons? Looked like maybe Brandenburg was. Yeah, it's Jason Brandenburg that was back there. Once again, Lamar Chapman was high on that pass. You know, we want to mention, too, to thank some of the folks who've helped us with the broadcast, uh, some of the people down the field. I guess we'll do that in a moment. we got to play. It's going quick here, 30 seconds. And Chapman looking deep over the middle once again. Hensley goes up and gets this one. He pays the price again. Ronnie Priest drills him, but how about the gutsy catch by Matt Hensley right there? This guy is not very big at all. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, and he went up in traffic to get that one. Liberal's going to spend another timeout with 23 seconds to go. So does it make him feel any better that he got to catch it this time before he got drilled? Does that help any? I don't know. 5'9", 145 pounds, and look at that. He just gets hammered as he goes across the middle. Now we've got some time. Why don't you thank a few people like my man Alex Judd down there on the sideline. Alex Judd, our red cap. He's the guy that lets the officials know that we're not ready yet. And they need to <laughs> wait just a few more seconds. Also, our cable pull is down there making sure we didn't get our mic cables tangled. Casey Kirchner and Casey Henning. I want to thank Tim Burrell, uh, one of the stats guys with us tonight. Frank and Lasker as well, a good friend of mine over here helping us with the stats. And we want to thank, uh, want to mention as well that liberal band for their great performance at halftime. Chapman in the gun once again. He wants it all right here. Throwing down the sideline for Aguilar. Ball is tipped up. We've got a flag. It's an incomplete pass. I don't know who this is going to go again. He got choices down there. Everybody was hitting everybody else. So let's see what they're going to say. In a game like this, you would think it's going to go Liberals' way. Well, Everything else has gone against them tonight. You, you figure it's, it's about time they get one. It will go against Dodge City, so Liberal will get a 15-yard penalty in high school. You don't get it from the spot of the foul unless it is intentional, and then it is 15 yards from the spot of the foul. You don't hardly ever see that one, right? Except Garden City <laughs> side against Manhattan High a few years ago and uh, cost Garden City their winning streak. Speaking of Garden City, they will be next on the schedule for this Liberal ball club as Liberal will travel to the Garden next Friday night. That should be an interesting matchup. Garden City, another one of those power teams, likes to just come at you, see what Liberal speed can do against the Buffaloes next week. 
Chapman now moves back under center, fakes the handoff to Alsup. He's rolling, throwing towards the end zone. Hensley's back there, picked off. Interception, and that ought to do it for the Red Demon. And it looked like Chet Schmidt might have been the one who made the pick back there in the end zone. It was. Uh, he was just in front of the ball that time, a little underthrown. Hensley just couldn't come back and get it. Here's the replay. Chapman with some time to throw here, rolling out. And he's going for the end zone. And watch Schmidt just go up and grab this one. Right there in front of Hensley. Nothing Matt could do about it that time. That yep. is a very fine defensive back play. You always tell him to go up and get the ball at its highest point. And he did just that. No chance for Hensley to get to that one. And now Dodge City will more than likely just down it. Yes, they will. And tempers may be flaring just a little at the end now. Shane Webb will help Jerry Kinzinger up, and Dodge City is going to celebrate. They beat the Liberal Redskins this year 19 to nothing. A little bit of payback for last year's 19 to 14 loss and in they, Dodge City. And they did it down here in Liberal, came into Redskin territory to pull this one off tonight. It is a terrific Dodge City football team, and they were just a little bit better than the Liberal Redskins here this evening. We're going to take a break and return to Redskin Field after this. Our final score, the Dodge City Red Demons 19, the Liberal Redskins nothing. Yeah, I keep coming back twice every year. You bet. I've heard this. And welcome back to Redskin Field as the Dodge City Red Demons have beaten the Liberal Redskins in their own backyard, 19 to nothing tonight, running down some of the statistics. Boy, it's total domination for this Red Demons ball club. I, I think you spelled statistics G-O-O-L-S-B-Y. That, <laughs> that's not a bad way to do it because he had a bunch of them tonight. Brian Goolsby, 30 rushes, 207 yards. Dodge City, 385 total yards. They held Liberal to 166. And uh, we uh, just like to thank everybody responsible for this broadcast. Once again, all of our fine sponsors, all the people that have helped us put this on. And uh, we've really enjoyed it tonight. What a great ball game. A couple of great teams. It has been. Liberal uh, can only go up from here. Well, and they've got Garden City next week and another stiff test for the Liberal Redskins. But it's a good football team. We've mentioned these two teams have not been tested for tonight. They, before tonight, they tested each other tonight. Dodge City came out on top. But Liberal is a pretty good football team. These Redskins are going to be hurt from yet this season. They're going to be a factor in the 5A playoffs. They don't have anything to hang their heads about after this ball game. Sure don't. One of the things, Brian Omi not playing in the game tonight, I don't think it would have made much of a difference because I don't think he could have stopped Brian Goolsby either. Brian Goolsby ran all over this liberal redskin defense, but that doesn't mean liberals still won't be heard from later on down the road. We'd like to thank you for joining us this evening on KUBK Channel 13. For Kirk Hutchinson, I'm Monty White. Our final score, the Dodge City Red Demons 19, the liberal redskins nothing. Thanks for joining us on KUBK Channel 13. This has been Kansas High School Football. Tonight's game has been brought to you through the generous sponsorship of these fine sponsors. George Nielsen Motor Company, Vice Publications, JAG Construction, Dodge City Medical Center, Walmart, GMC Dealers of Southwest Kansas, OBGYN Associates of Southwest Kansas, Patrick Well Service Incorporated, McGee Roofing, Southwest Medical Center, Millen's Honda, Yamaha, and Kawasaki, Bank of the Southwest, Medical Heights Dental Center, and a host of proud Redskin sponsors including A&A Construction, Cypher Glass, Best Well Service Inc., Paul's Paint and Body Shop, and KUVK TV.